Keeping them honest every night. AC 360. CNN. Weeknights 10 Eastern. We begin tonight keeping them honest in Libya with a stalemate on the ground and growing divisions within NATO about what the mission really is and growing questions about whether NATO really is up to the job. NATO says it destroyed 16 more Qaddafi tanks yesterday near Misrata and Sirt. But France and Britain are demanding more aggressive action to protect civilians. That is, after all, the U.N. mandate. But in the city of Misrata, Qaddafi forces continue to shell and use snipers in an attempt to regain control. For weeks now, we've watched civilians in Misrata die as opposition forces try to fight back. The city has been surrounded for seven weeks now, and UNICEF calls the situation for people there grave and deteriorating. Remember, late last month, President Obama handed the mission over to NATO, saying America would shift to a supporting role. So for those who doubted our capacity to carry out this operation, I want to be clear. The United States of America has done what we said we would do. But even then, there were questions about whether that would be good enough to protect Libyan civilians and whether the mission, as conceived, could even work at all. Libyan opposition leaders say NATO is not doing enough. So we are not seeing really a, a great effort to protect the civilian since the NATO took over the operation. So we'd like to put great emphasis in this. Opposition forces say NATO is far more cautious in picking their targets and slower in their ability to respond quickly to events on the ground, something critics warned about when the, NATO, uh, when the handover to NATO was first proposed. The U.S. military will no longer be flying strike sorties against Qaddafi's armored columns and ground forces. I believe this would be a profound mistake with potentially disastrous consequences. Well, we learned today American aircraft are still being used in strikes against air defense systems and for jamming enemy radar and aerial refueling. But tank-busting American A-10 Warthog attack planes like these, they stopped flying missions right, last uh, week. And a number of countries like Qatar and the UAE involved in the air effort refused to let their plans be involved in attacks on Qaddafi forces for political reasons back home. The question now, with a stalemate on the ground between opposition forces and Qaddafi's army and Libyan civilians still suffering in places like Misrata and Tripoli and elsewhere, is NATO doing enough? 